everyone this is Supriyan welcome back to another video this is my uh, robot car project uh, we built this robot car our group Skynet and we worked uh, this robot car in our entire uh, semester so many of you asked me a question so what is the functional specifications of this robot car and uh, what is the mode of this uh, robot car and uh, what kind of component I used in this robot so right now I will explain everything uh, about my robot car. I'll never slow up, no I don't take shit, I got no love for the fakeness. If you wanna play toss and wanna hate this, I'll always show up. I don't ever slow up, no I don't So this is the Skynet robot car which we successfully delivered to our customer and demonstrated in our class. The components that we used motor driver, LCD screen, microcontroller, ultrasonic sensor. The Skynet robot car is designed for three key functionalities. One, manual remote control. Two, autonomous navigation. And three, line following. Using an 80 mega 328p microcontroller, Bluetooth connectivity and multiple sensors. It brings together real-time control and automation. All right, let's talk about the line following feature. Our robot car uses infrared sensors to detect and follow a black line on the floor. But that's not all. If there is an obstacle within 20 cm in front of the car, the ultrasonic sensors kick in and the car automatically stops to avoid a collision. This makes is not just smart in navigation but also safe and responsive in real-time situations. Now let's talk about Roomba mode. In this mode, our robot car moves autonomously, navigating its environment without any manual control. It uses ultrasonic sensors to constantly scan for obstacles, just like a smart vacuum cleaner. If it detects an object within 20 cm, the car immediately stops. The adjust its direction to find a clear path before continuing. The allows to move around safely avoiding collisions and making real-time decisions on the go. In this mode, we will talk about remote control. The car is fully controlled by the user with a Bluetooth connection. Using a smart app, you can drive it forward, backward, left and right also. Basically, the application sent data to the car microcontroller and the microcontroller will control the car's speed and also direction. Especially thanks to Luca, Neve, Theme and Math for this contribution.